Alright, so today we're going to look at how to create an online quiz. This is a very simple process using Google Forms. Um, and this is a, a feature built into Google Drive, which works really, really well. It's very straightforward and very quick. So, um, some people will find it easier to type, type up their questions into a Google document or alternatively a Google, um, sorry, a, a Word document. And that's fine. It's actually quicker and it's less tedious. Typing into Google Forms can be tedious. So I would suggest typing that. And these are our two test questions we're going to use today. So we're going to create a new Google Form. And we're doing it in the folder we want it to stay in. And that makes a lot of sense, obviously, because that's where it will go. And the very first thing we do is we want to give it a name. So unit for us will be a test quiz. Okay, um, then the very first thing you want to do is you want to go up to the top right hand corner to the little cog, and the cog means it's settings, and we want to go to quizzes on the right hand side here, and we want to make it a quiz. Now, if we're doing just a multiple choice quiz, we can actually have it so that the results are submitted, or sorry, are graded straight away, and the students will get their answers as soon as they press submit. If we want to hold on to that so they get the results later or all at once, we can do that. Or if we want longer response questions, we're probably better off if we can click later after manual review. And that's the one I would recommend every time anyway. So we've got our test quiz. This means the student has to put in their email address. That's really important. But for your own sake, because they might have, they might put in their email address, they're not meant to put in a, just a different one, I would also give them a name. And if you want, you can put in another question. See the little plus button here is where we get the questions. I would use a drop down box and say class. And there we go, Mr. Whiting. We'll make that the only option. Um, or you know what? We'll also put in uh, Mr. Smith. Cool. So then we will set up a new section. Okay. That's this one here, add section. And we'll make these required by the way. Uh, and we make these required because we want the students to have to do them. We want them to have to identify themselves. So we add a new section. Now, remember how we typed it into it. We've already got our questions typed up. So let's go to uh, this is the multiple choice section. I'm going to add a question. Questions going to be multiple choice. So it's, that's our standard option. Uh, I'm going to go to this. What colors is the sky? I'll see the question here, and I'll type in what color is the sky. Then, and this is where typing that beforehand saves you some time. I can go blue, red, green. They're my three options, and I can just copy and paste it into option one. And because there is a new line, I've pressed the enter key between each word. It will set them up as three options straight away. Now, that's the first part done. I can give it an answer. The correct answer is blue. And I want to make this one worth one point. Okay. I come back here and I don't have to make it a required question. In fact, I wouldn't make it a required question in a quiz. This way kids can skip forward. Maybe with the multiple choice questions, but not the rest. And I want to shuffle the option order. This means if you're doing this in the classroom, the students can't just sit next to each other and go, yep, he's picked the top one. Bang, off we go. Now I'm going to add a new section which will be our extended response. So I'm just going to call it that, just to save a bit of time. And we're going to add a question. Now, the question for this one is, how does the respiratory system or respiratory system draw in air? I'll type the question in there. Now, I want this actually to be a longer response, which means I'm going to have to mark it myself. I can't automatically grade it, but I feel as though this needs a diagram. So I will click on this picture here, and that gives me a diagram. I come to here and I, so this is the diagram I want. And I press copy, so right click on the picture, copy image address. Then I want to add it by URL. So just copy and paste that in there. So there's a control V and I press select. And I've now got an image in my drawing, in my diagram, my question. And if I come up here, by the way, I can add an image to the center, like underneath that or I can make images the four options to choose from. So away we go. That's it, I'm happy. That's my entire test, just two questions. 
And now it's ready to send out to the kids. So how do I do this? I can email it to everyone. The way I would prefer to do it is I use a link. We use a link when we put it on our class website, or you can email a link, whatever. Um, so click on the link and shorten URL. That's it. You're all good. Press C. Now control C to copy that, or it's down there. And again, we would then put this in our class website. So I'm going to go back here, and I'm going to press Control V. I could have just picked, clicked on the preview button here. It'll bring up the same thing, but we'll do it this way. So my email address is Mr. P. There we go. That's me. My name, very simple. We'll go Pete. Class, I'm in Mr. Whiting's class, and I press next. So I've identified myself, the thing knows who I am. What color is the sky? Hmm, blue. Um, so I press next. Here's the next question. When you do that, um, that, if you've got more than one question in that section, they'll all be there. Uh, how does this work? Uh, magic is the answer, just to be nice and quick. All right. My, resp my response has been submitted. Perfect. Now I'll come back to my quiz, and I'll see that there's a response. Now I can look at what everyone's done, just as a big group. You see my score's not released, all fine. But I want to look at it as an individual. So I come over here. By the way, after it's done, you can press not accepting responses, and no more people can do that quiz. So if you've got to do it for a short time, you click not accepting responses, can't do it anymore. Okay, so there's, here's the first run. I got that one right. Second one, magic. That's not right. So you'll see, by the way, it's given me a one out of one for this one. And I can up it just to, if I want to, or I can go, you know what? I was wrong. That's down. But it was right, so let's put it back up. Now, over here, magic. That's not right. So I have to grade it. We get zero. Um, I forgot to give that a score. Doesn't matter. I can now add feedback. Feedback is... Um, it's not magic. It's evolution. I'll put a little apostrophe there because we're teachers and we need to be professional. And I press save and I press save again. Now, just before we move on, you see I've made a mistake. Sometimes this is the biggest drama in the world. I have changed, I have not given any marks for this question and that's a problem. Okay, so my current thing is that I'm sitting on 100%, one out of one. Let's go back to questions. And I need to change it. I made that question worth too few points because I made it worth zero. So if I come down here, back to answer key, and I make it worth two, because that's a reasonable question. Back there, and I come back at the top. If I want to see the responses, I can see that I only got one out of three now. That's it. That's how to do a test or a quiz in, oh, hang on. one more thing, release scores. Um, when I'm ready, I can either, there'll be more options down here. I can send an email and release this so the kids or the students can get their scores straight away with the feedback. They'll get the feedback that I typed in. Um, so I will get an email that has this as a PDF that I can download. And I go, oh, it's not, he's right. It wasn't magic. It was evolution. Duh. And we're all good. So that's how you do it. That is how you make a quiz on Google Docs, uh, Google Forms. It's nice and simple. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments below and we'll get back to you as quick as we can. Uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye now.